Yo, what's up YouTube? Today we're gonna be working on a little mixed media piece. I was really inspired to get hands on with this piece by one creator that I've been watching recently, Jesse Nyberg, also known as Permanent Glue. He does a lot of cool cutout pieces and scans a lot of different things in within his artworks. And it really inspired me to take a new approach to a lot of the designs that I've been making recently. As you can see, it's a little bit tedious cutting everything out, but I think it's almost not nearly as bad as it is in Photoshop. Which is kind of funny to say because, you know, this is how things used to be done compared to now doing them in Photoshop these days. So, I don't know, it was kind of just cool to put a whole collage together from scratch. Kind of just see which elements worked together and which ones didn't. And obviously, it's not going to be coming out looking like a super realistic piece. That's not exactly what I was going for. I was trying to kind of do something abstract, something that would catch your eye. And just really give you the overall theme of, yeah, this is a skateboarding magazine. I am going to be scanning it in and throwing it into Photoshop later in this video. So stay tuned for that and watch out for the final piece. There was definitely a lot of things that I had to touch up just because I couldn't really change anything from the magazine itself. I kind of just had to work with what I was given. But we're about to go ahead and scan that in right now and throw it in the Photoshop. Got that right in there. Build up a little bit. After I scanned it, it seems like some of the colors kind of faded away. So I kind of wanted to bring up the saturation a little bit. But also this yellow down here is just kind of popping on its own. So I don't know. Let's see what we can do with it. A little uh, levels adjustment layer. just to darken a couple things up and you know what we'll test out the saturation oh yeah see when you bump up the saturation like that it's starting to kind of it's kind of starting to get the feel of what i was going for i don't think i'm going to do it quite as high though probably somewhere right around this right or a nice little pouring filter on top it would look like with a gradient i probably am not going to do this kind of like the composition that i was kind of trying to base all the colors around in the first place so definitely don't think we're going to be using one of these gradients but it is always fun to see what it would look like all right yeah we're gonna definitely scrap that gradient idea and actually when i scanned this design in i used a transparent paper that i had used in one of my previous short videos that you should check out on how to make different scratch overlays at home it's very simple very easy but instead of doing it on the software in post-production i decided to just put it right on top of the poster itself and scan it in like that so you can see we do have a couple textures but i think i am going to add a couple more oh yeah i definitely like the effect of this one right there go ahead and add some copy scans as well I think for this one though i'm gonna invert it and then go with the overlay for that one honestly this is looking really cool right now i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm thinking i might add some text around these areas just to fill up some of the negative space in the design All right guys, so I added like a nice little Thrasher logo right here. I think it has like the bulge effect on it. And I went ahead and I extended some of these lines that I couldn't quite get long enough just because the magazine itself wasn't big enough. 
I just added those lines in to create some more consistency and I masked out some of the text going around the image just to bring some more focus to some of the subjects in the piece. And then I just went ahead and added like a nice little paper texture on top. Since you know it is coming from a magazine and magazines do get destroyed pretty easily. I figured it would just give it more of a realistic feel. And honestly at this point I think I'm going to call this done. As of right now I think this is one of my most creative pieces and I had so much fun making this. It was a little bit of a pain trying to cut everything out but in the end I would say everything was completely worth it. If you have any magazines at home or have any extra money to go get one I would highly recommend making a poster like this. It sets a lot more limits but I do think that sometimes in the right cases limits can lead to a lot of creativity let me know down in the comments what y'all think of this design and make sure to stay tuned for all the upcoming videos